Hello everyone and welcome again to TIFF TV. I'm Teddy Mitchell of House Photography and uh, we are on week four and this is wrapping up uh, photography history and uh, this part of photography history that we're wrapping up on is just going to be I think very interesting because we are going to see some old school pictures that's just going to like maybe even blow your mind or just make you wonder what the heck was people thinking back in the day. So let's dive right into it, right? So these are some of the early cameras in the 1900s. In 1900, uh, George R. Lawrence built the Mammoth, which was uh, 900 pounds. 900 pounds of a camera was the largest camera in the world and it cost $5,000, which was big enough, which was, was a, enough money to actually buy a big, huge house. So can you imagine, $5,000 back in that day was really a lot of money. And somebody made such a thing, you can even look at that, it looked like they needed maybe like a lorry to actually haul that thing off or even put it together, it's just sit. But yet in 1875, India, you have uh, this gentleman, Mohan Alal, and his camera, and look at the difference. A big camera, small camera, as long as it just does the job, right? Well, this guy, I like his camera. And then you have Theodore Hori Dekzek. Hey, that's a hard name to actually say. Uh, lying on the ground with his camera. And look at this one. It's like fully extended and look at this viewfinder. My goodness. I mean, seriously, the inventions. And then we have some of the female photographers here. You have a photojournalist named Jesse Tarbox on the street with her camera, which looks pretty much similar to the, the gentleman in India. And uh, look at that. I, I wonder what is that on the ground? Is that to carry the camera in or was that like some type of flash mechanism? It's just so many different things. It's just crazy. Then we have uh, the first female staff photographer who is Margaret um, Burke White and her camera. Now this particular camera, man, I wish I could actually even see this camera today and hold it today. Can you imagine? You're like, that's a Canon. You know what I'm saying? Canon. <laughs> but anyway, that's a Canon of a, uh, a Canon of a camera to actually hold. I know that lady pretty much had some muscles. Well, then you had uh, also Addison in Sherlock and his self-portrait of a silver print camera in Washington, D.C. in 19, 1910. And this camera looks also old school. Uh, I wish we had like a picture of it from the side so we can see what it looks like from the side. But look at the, the shutter, uh, shutter release button in his hand. That's really nice. You know, we still kind of use that uh, to this day. Then we have uh, Wiki with his flashball Polaroid camera in 1938. And that was pretty much what most of us actually um, saw as cameras with having the flash there and you know holding it and being able to snap. But this particular gentleman is one of the guys that I actually looked up to for photography, styles, lighting, and, and everything. Gordon Parks, um, this gentleman in, in the 1940s was like uh, just sick with it. So this is one of the guys that I would suggest that you guys um, kind of look at if you want to actually look at some really nice black and whites uh, some different types of styles and stuff like that um, as an African-American photographer. And then we have uh, Malik Sidibe. Now mind you, this is in 1962. Malik Sidibe is a photographer from Mali. And this is a studio. And you look at this and this, this doesn't look like, you know, um, uh, it, it doesn't look like a bad studio. It looks actually like a, a really unique studio. You have, look at the, even the camera some of these guys are having, the, the youngsters are having in this in this shot. It's really nice. In, matter of fact, the dude on on the uh, right side looked like he got on Crocs. <laughs> but anyway, so you have some really nice pictures here and stuff like that. Then you have um, Jamal Sabas, who was a um, documentarian in New York City in um, the 1980s. And uh, this is what we also know of today now, uh, what we're looking at as, you know, we can see like the, 
the evolving of the camera and stuff like that. And then we also have uh, Malik Sidibe again, who actually is holding the, more or less before he passed away, he uh, is holding, you know, a modern day camera. So we look at all of this stuff just to say that we basically have evolved from the way cameras look and how they came from weighing 900 pounds to pretty much being able to be portable and, and handheld, you know. But the crazy thing is, is that we're coming around full circle with this particular photographer. His name is Luis Mendez, and he still shoots with an old Polaroid, and he's one of the most sought out photographers in New York today that shoots with this particular camera. So it's, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit interesting how we go forward and then we come back, we go forward, we come back. And who's to say before you know it, um, we might actually be shooting with the man. <laughs> but I doubt, but it's all good. So anyway, folks, <clears throat> that brings us to the history, the end of the history of photography. And uh, next week, we'll begin Photography 101. So please don't forget to ask your questions, to make comments, and to subscribe. So I hope to see you next week. I'm Teddy Michener of TIFF TV. See you later. Peace.